live streaming. Do we want to? Do we want to record as well? Sure, just in case. It's we always do it just to yeah, cool. play um, it safe. It says we're streaming if anyone wants to. Like, I will check on me phone. Oh, we haven't got clocks or anything, have we? <laughs> no. Hello, hello, hello and welcome to KSL, you're here with figures, we're at the Olympic Ice Skating Arena in Oakley, Melbourne, Victoria, we're brought to you by Spark and Data and Electrical, it's season 3 baby, season 3 KSL, we're here, we're back, we finished season 2 last week, and now we're back with season 3 the week after, because why would you wait to play hockey when you could just play hockey? And not only do we have an awesome, exciting season opener where all the teams have changed all of the players, which makes my job so really easy to do, but we have a brand new team. Ladies and gentlemen, dong, 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 dong. we welcome to the KSL, dong, 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 dong. brand new franchise, dong, 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 dong. they're named after a fish. Dong, dong. They are the Trouts! They are led by Cam Coots, the statistician mastermind wizard. And uh, we've, got some, we've got some old faces that have moved across. We've got some new faces that have joined him in his, uh, in his campaign for the uh, illustrious KSL trophy. We have, uh, we have Fiona Buell up here on the scoreboard. Doing the scoreboard. Doing the thing. We've got Zara Dennis here doing the manual scoreboard. We've got Tristan Clements up here operating the uh, the cameras. Pew, 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 pew. And who? Annie Knight. Hi, Annie Knight. <laughs> Annie Knight's up here as well. She's learning how to do stuff. So, uh, yeah, for those of you that don't know KSL, we're pretty grassroots. We, um... Everyone who plays has to help out. Whether you're a camera person, whether you're a camera, when you're whether you're one of the camera operator peoples that chooses which camera we use, whether it's keeping control of the scoreboard, we get people to help out on everything. Sometimes we even get people to help out refereeing, which we've done tonight. Liara Green, she's going to be our head official for this first game. I think we've got a special guest coming in to be this to be the head official for the second game. Um, he, he's giving up his law degree and his law career, and he's just going to become an ice hockey ref for KSL now. Um, we don't, we, we can't pay him, but you know, he, life's, life's more important than money. We're almost ready to start. Um, we have two goalies as, as usual. One of them, Chris Hurley on the le on the uh, right hand side of your screen. Uh, we moved the cameras back down to the bench side because, uh, reasons. And we do, do we have a second goalie? Yes, Horvath. Oh, Steve Horvath. As we determined last week, it is pronounced the same way that you pronounce laundromath. It's Steve Horvath. Oh, here he is. As if on cue, skating out to center ice to have a chat with the officials. And as the teams... We've got, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm really excited about the teams this season. We've, uh, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Yeah. He did. Isn't that just for the, for the graphics on the thing? Isn't that's the horn, isn't it? Let's do the thing. Yeah, let's hockey KSL season three. Let's go. Oh. So, um, for those of you that are tuned in from home, uh, we are coming to you from the land of the Boon Wurrung people of the Kulin Nations, and we pay our respects to their elders past, present, and emerging, and pay our respects to any Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander people listening or watching or... However, you want to interact by Morse code, 
uh, you could do that. Maybe I don't know. We we don't have Morse code capabilities here, but I'm sure if you I'm sure if you do it, if you chuck it in the chat, maybe some dots and dashes. I'll Google Translate into what you're saying, and we can have a conversation. We are brought to you by the wonderful people at Sparkin Data and Electrical. That's s p a r k n dot com dot a u n finelli. If you have any data and electrical needs, they can hook you up with quotes and uh, good quality work. And we are also helped out by the wonderful people at OSM Live who are uh, helping to make our broadcasts as good as they possibly can. And we're away! And the Dally Bellies are stopped by the referee, Liara Green, who has already shown her bias as Paige Cameron gets in between two Dally Bellies and pushes them out of the way. And the Dally Bellies have it back. It's Christine Dutton, unless I'm mistaken. Christine Dutton, number 22? Is that right? Yep. Oh, Dutz. Uh, one of the uh, champion Melbourne Ice women's team champions from last season. Uh, Sarah Sparrow coming in to swat it away from the captain. Captain Trout himself. The The pirates are on water and Trouts are in the water. So it's a, an apt correlation between the two. And here's Jake White. He's in a different jersey. He just got... Bear hugged by Fraser Stevens, who I don't think he realizes that this isn't rugby. This is this is KSL. This is this is ice hockey. We don't we don't rugby tackle other people to the ground. And here comes Jake White. He's got pressure from Nick Love. He oh he tried a nice forehand to backhand on the far side, but uh Steve Horvat was too good or Jake White's shot was not good enough. Maybe a combination. Oh and he's trying to read but he's got it! He's saluting! He thinks he's got it! Liara says he's got it. That's a goal. Wow, Jack White. Nice little move. He was denied the first time. He would not be denied the second time. Unassisted. And Jake White for the Deli Bellies. He's already put a dent in the trout season. Let's see how they respond. Josh Page taking off the face off. And he gets it back to his uh, defender, who's just in all white and no discerning features. Whatsoever. Fiona Buell's going to try and help me out. Oh, Josh Page. He carries it over the blue line. He's got a bit of pressure there from a couple of delis. One of them being Gary Natt, who is back from his sojourn overseas. Oh, Josh Page! Oh, my God! Side of the cage! He roofs it! Oh, what a beauty! <laughs> Oh, Ricky, good. Ricky, good. Who is a uh, one of our newer members? Uh, he is quite good, and he gets an assist on the board in the opening minutes of this first period. Oh, and here's Vincent Lee. He's doing a drag. He gets it in. Oh my goodness! What a play! What the what is happening? Yes. That was that was Vincent Lee who just put on a showcase of talent and skill and grace. Cam Coots throws it up to Vincent Lee, misses his stick. So Deli Bellies are going to try and clear it out, get it out of their zone as Jess Meggs. Oh, wow. Nice little tic-tac-toe play and they get another goal. The Trout asserting dominance after that early concession of a goal. So Vincent Lee, I reckon give Jess an assist as well. Give Jess an assist. That was a beautiful little tic-tac-toe play. Jess gets it off the boards, passes it to Vincent. Vincent into the slot where an awaiting Cam Coots just rips it in. Norman Yan plays it up to Jake White, but Ricky Good cuts off that pass. Ricky Good passing it over. Couldn't get it past Jake White, who's recovered. Passes up to Sarah Sparrow. Sarah Sparrow's chasing down. Is that baby Gwyn? 
Oh, Liam Gwynn's back. Yes. Oh, and Liam Gwynn. Baby Gwynn tackling the baby sparrow. And here come the trout again. Passing across ice, but uh, broken up by Frankie. Frankie had it taken off her stick. And at the point, baby Gwynn. He gets it around a couple, but Norman Yan swats it out of the zone and chases it down. Is that Dominic Prendergast? No number. Oh, and Jorge goes down at the line. Tripped over the blue line, the uh, Stewie Cowden special. <laughs> I'll get two Stewie Cowdens and a, and a number nine and a, and a number seven. That's if you could buy Stuart Cowden from a fast food restaurant. You can, I, I mean, I, I don't think he's even that official. <laughs> you, just, you just pop some money in his hand and he's all yours. Liam Gwynn, around the bottom of the net. Passes it up to number three. Who's number three? You have to forgive me while in the early stages of the season, people, while I try and figure out who is who. Oh, and a slapper from the blue line from number three. Free for free. Oh, Mark Walsley. We think. And here's Fraser Stevens putting some pressure. But they, Delhi's get it. Long pass up to Gary Nat, But Cam Coots, the two captains go at it in the corner. Captain on captain. Cam Coots comes away with the spores. Passes it up to Paige Cameron. She's back for this season. Throws it down low. But Chris Hurley will cover that bad boy up. Paige Cameron tries to take the puck. But they haven't cleared it out yet. Off you go, Paige. Give him a chance. Jeez. And uh, that's Dutz. Christine Dutton with the puck. Carries it into the blue line on her own. She's a defender, but she carries it all the way in. Bit of pressure from Paige Cameron. Dominic Prendergast tries to get it out. Oh, Dutton putting pressure on Cam Coots. Cam Coots tried a nice little dipsy doodle, but it didn't work for him. So Dutton takes it back. Wonder if she's going to go coast to coast again. No, happy to just pop it up into the neutral zone where Paige Cameron cuts it off for the uh, Trouts. Or the Trout. What's the plural of trout? I thought it was trout, but people are saying it's trouts. Oh, and a shot that just goes wide. Hurley couldn't get a leg to it. Oh, and Gary Nat manages to swipe it across ice and get it out of the zone. Phoebe Melvin taking to it like a lightsaber in Star Wars. Missed the puck, though. And here comes Prendergast. Prendergast with Sparrow. Sparrow's putting pressure on. Gets it up to Phoebe Melvin. Trout. Oh, plural trouts. There you go. I stand corrected. Literally. I don't sit down here, people. I give you my all. This is an exercise in fitness and strength and, and endurance. Phoebe Melvin for the Delis. Throws it down low to Sarah Sparrow. Passes it back to Melvin. Gets off her skate to Norman Yan. Norman Yan tried to throw it. Oh, here they go. The trouts. It's Josh Page and Ricky Good. He farms it back. Gets it in. That was a good play. Smart move by Ricky Good getting the goalie moving right to left. And that's a goal. Ricky Good with another assist. That's two. And that's Josh Page's second. That's his two as well. And the Trouts have come out to play. It's 4-1. And we're 16 minutes 45 left in this first period or first half. Because we only do things in halves here at the uh, KSL. For those of you who are just tuning in for the first time, thank you for joining us. Uh, unlike most leagues, we do things a little bit differently here. We uh, only play halves, two halves. They're longer. Um, and we play four versus four. With the exception of... Some oh, the shot from Jake White in the slot. Oh, it's still loose. The fact that the... Goalie for the Trouts is wearing a Deli Bellies jersey is quite confusing, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. And Chris Hurley bats that one away. It was a uh, pretty average shot there from Josh Page. So he dealt with it in fine form. And here comes Jake White. He's willing to carry it all the way out. But uh, unfortunately, willing does not mean that it's going to happen because the uh, Deli Bellies got it off his stick. So what's that saying about uh, the road to hell is paved with good intentions? And I think we just saw the uh, 
the physical demonstration of that just now. Josh Page tried to pass it to Jess, but uh, it was a terrible pass. you got to pass it to where a stick can reach. If you don't, probably not likely to get it. Passes it up the boards. Jake White. Oh, gets it past uh, Vincent Lee. But Vincent Lee gets it back after a little bit of a tennis match from the Trouts. And Jess throws it on. Trickles wide. Cam Coots passes up to the, to the point where Prendergast was waiting. But uh, a pressure in Gary Nat gets the puck away. And the Deli Bellies happy to just pop that out of the zone. Make them touch up. That sounded a little bit more sensual than what I was going for. But uh, we're at a later time slot now, people. So uh, things are going to get a little bit more sexy. Scandalous. Salacious. And no, I don't have a thesaurus open in front of me. I'm sure a lot of people think I do. It's just coming off the top of my dome. Vince. No, that's Jorge. Jorge and Vincent. Oh, Vincent's digging away. And he comes away with the puck. Jorge ends up on his butt. Or on his knees. Cam Coots has to throw it in while his teammates touch up. Who's 63 for the Delis now? Oh, and a shot that goes wide from Richard Armour. Duncan Miller's 63 now. Don't forget to hit a uh, hit an old chatteroo in the chat down below the video. If you're watching this at home... Or if you're watching it from Minnesota or from LA, as some of our as some of our homies, our supporters, have been watching us from. Wherever you are, wherever you're tuning in, g'day. We are coming this is this is ice hockey from Australia and uh, it's a bit of fun. We don't take things too seriously. Unless people act like tools, in which case we get very serious and we send them to tribunal. And they get penalized with humorous penalties, like short sticks. And as Sarah Sparrow and Phoebe Melvin collide at mid-ice, uh, Sarah Sparrow loses her stick. And Phoebe almost ends up falling over, but she maintains her balance. Nice composure. Oh, pass to the slot, Phoebe Melvin. Oh, they couldn't make anything happen on that point. Frankie Palmer has the puck, passes it to Norman Yan quickly. To Sarah Sparrow. Sarah Sparrow trying to weave around Cam Coots, but nice defensive play. Aaron Dolan, go Deli Bellies. They need all the help that you that you can give them. All, all the good vibes, Aaron. Thanks for tuning in. I'll, I'll tell them at halftime that you're here and that you're, 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 you know, you're investing your time and effort to support them. And they need to step, step the hell up. Speaking of stepping the hell up, that's Norman Yan. Passes to Armour into the slot to his wife, but he, she couldn't make it go. And here's Sarah Sparrow up at the point. Throws it. Bounces off a stick. Richard Armour collecting it. Got pressure from Good. Oh, up to Phoebe Melvin. She it was on the wrong side of her stick, though. Couldn't make it go. And Fraser Stevens will collect it for the Trouts. Passes it softly and deftly to Ricky Good. Ricky Good over, but to nobody. Jake White was putting pressure on her. It got to him. Here comes Dutz. She's got the puck. She cycles back. Getting some space. Pass it to Sparrow. Missed Sparrow. Went up to White. White to Sparrow. Sparrow gets it around. Ricky Good throws it on net. But Horvat puts that down. No problems. And the Trouts clear it out quickly. But uh, overshot the mark to Duncan Miller. And it's cut off by White. White passes it to Sparrow who was waiting at the point but didn't see the puck. Goes in deep. Into the slot for White but couldn't get it in. Duncan Miller. Did I just say Duncan Miller was on two teams then? That was Mark. Sorry, Mark. Mark's number three. And uh, Duncan Miller is 63, and they are on different teams. Oh, is that Tara Yates? Oh, boy. She is a very good player. I'm keen as mustard to see what she can produce this season. Speaking of good players, Paige Cameron throws it, but it bobbles off the end of her stick and goes wide. Jake White plays it up the boards past Cam Coots. He's got support there from Jorge, but he throws it on net, and the blocker of Steve Horvath. Oh, Jorge! Jorge! <laughs> what a goal! A one-timer from Jake White! And the Deli Belly is showing some life.
Wow. That was a beauty of a goal. I don't think it was a goal. They didn't do face off. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got to do a face off now. Paige Cameron has this really annoying habit of just taking the puck and carrying it down ice. Uh, Tristan, do you have anything to say about that, mate? Uh, no, I just think she likes working on a puck handling. Okay, okay. That's, that's very generous of you. It makes it really hard to know what's happening, Paige, when you don't follow the protocols. And that was a shot from Richard Armour that got off the... I think it went off the blocker and then the helmet of Steve Horvat. <laughs> Horvat. <laughs> it's, I think that's how you pronounce it, actually. Tari Yates picks up that loose puck. Norman Yang cuts her off. Richard Armour gets the puck. Deli Belly's making another push. Paige Cameron leaning in on Richard Armour. Cam Coots throws it into the slot where there were none of his teammates, and Norman Yan will pick it up in the neutral zone. Richard Armour looking for an option, passes it across ice. Gary Nat picking it up, getting it past Yates. In the corner, throws it into the slot. It's working for them at the moment. Norman Yan. Oh, what a shocker of a shot, Normie. Maybe a few less hash browns and a few more practicing shots. Oh, and he shuts me up quickly as he passes it beautifully to Richard Armour, who just puts it in the net. And that... Norman Yan. And that's why you should never doubt Norman Yan, ladies and gentlemen, because he might make a mistake here and there, but then he'll show you up as you're broadcasting to a grand total of five people on the internet. So the score is Deli Belly's three to the Trout's four. Deli Bellies have shown some great stuff in the last few minutes, turning what looked like an early blowout to uh, coming back within one. And here's Nick Luff and Josh Page. Josh Page showing what he's made of. Gets the puck past three deli bellies. Oh, and a stick to the face, it looked like. Oh, Josh Page. Putting the work on. Was that Jorge? Yep. And a pass up to Sarah Sparrow. She gets around Ricky Good. She's still got it. She goes. Oh, <laughs> What a goal, Sarah Sparrow! She brought it onto the forehand and then just did a nice little... She just did a nice little Peter Forsberg move and then reached back and just tucked it in like it was a little child going to bed. There you are, Johnny. Here's your glass of warm milk and your teddy bear. And I'm just going to tuck you in. I love these later time slots. I'm delirious early. <laughs> and my mind works in weird and wonderful ways. So Sarah Sparrow, she ties it up. That's four. Four apiece. And Dutz pass it up. Up ice to her captain. Off the boards. Josh Page collecting it for the Trouts. Oh, but Dutz has got it back now. Steals it off Josh Page. She's got it low, but Ricky Good takes it off her. She fumbled the puck a little bit. But the Delhi's applying some forechecking pressure. Seven on seven. Seven times seven. What's seven times seven? Quickly. Quick maths. 49. 49. That's what those two numbers equate to. Oh, and here comes Jake White. He picks it up off Baby Gwyn. But then he loses the puck. Everyone's losing the puck like it's a child in the supermarket. There's lots of, <laughs> there's lots of little analogies about children tonight. I don't know what that is about. Don't, don't ask me. It's just my brain. I, I just live here. And as Ricky Good passes it across ice to Josh Page. Misses him. Oh, and Dutz swift whiffs on it. Josh Page throws it low, but Chris Hurley manages to get his stick and his leg in front of it. Six minutes, 14 left in this first half. As Ricky Good throws it from the blue line, but a good defensive stick there from one of the Deli Bellies. Was that Duncan Miller? Yes, that was Duncan Miller. Maybe? Yes. Is it? Are you sure? 60-30? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure, you know, you know, it's still early in the season. Very early in the season. Oh, it's still in the blue line. That's still in. Oh, but it comes out. Norman Yan, good defensive work. And he barrels through Josh Page. He's on a breakaway. Nil on. Oh, solid save from Horvath. Took him to the cleaners. 
Norman's grinning. <laughs> he liked it. Maybe he like he is a goalie, yeah. so maybe he liked the save. <laughs> now, now, oh, oh. the good thing the good thing with with this is that we have two microphones now, Fiona. So if you want to talk, you should talk into that. Hi, Fiona. Hi. How you doing? Good. That's good. <laughs> As the uh, trouts have it, but a, a terrible shot from Cam Coots that was aimed more at the corner than it was at the goals. And Vincent Lee will collect the loose puck. Throws it down low to his captain. Tried to get it through Frankie. He does eventually. But Norman Yang collects it in a good defensive move. He carries it up. Passes it across ice to Phoebe Melvin. And Vincent Lee is like, nah, I'm going to take that. Cam Coots tried to pass it to Vincent Lee. But uh, Richard Armour. Great blocker with his stick there. Slightly offside he was. But Liara Green didn't see it. And off a stick that goes up. Over? And out. Up and out. Up and over. It's gone. It's it's gone. Bye-bye. Steve Horvath collects a, pu a spare puck that we have on ice. Nice and chilled. Oh! Oh, wowee! What a goal from Mark! Mark Walsley! What a beauty! Who was the assist? Was it Cam? I don't know if there was one. I think there was. Somebody passed... It's Mark. <laughs> Any assist, Liara? Nah. Nah. I don't think there was an assist. No, nah, no assist. I he, have too many things to talk. He into just received. He just received the puck from midair from 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 the gods of hockey. Yeah. Yeah. Assist. Put put down an assist for the gods of hockey. No, I'm, I'm joking. You, we don't have numbers for them. <laughs> Dutch passes it up to Miller. Miller. Oh, it bubbles up into Liam Gwynn's schnoz. But then it comes out and, oh, bit of a fluff of a pass, but it gets to him in the end. Oh, and a shot on that Chris Hurley bats away quite easily. Paige Cameron overskated the puck, and here comes Sparra. She tried to pass it up, got no further than Duncan Miller, who continues to play it. It's still in. It was Mark. Not that was Duncan. Mark. Far out. I'm going to get it one of these days. They are playing against each other. Right I now. know, but I, I, I got I, it's, it's one of those things where you make a mistake early on and you can't get it out of your brain because that's the neural pathway that you've... Oh, an open net for Jake White! And he just got to, gets it off the toe of his stick and it goes over. Yeah, you know how you make the wrong neural pathway and then it's like you meet somebody and it's just like, oh, hey, hey, Steve. Oh, my name's Tom. It's like, oh, okay. Then the next time you see him, you call him Steve again. Yeah. He's like, I told you my name's Tom. I do this all the time. Yeah, yeah. Therefore, everyone shall now be Duncan Miller. Du everyone's Duncan Miller. Duncan Miller with the puck. Passes it to Duncan Miller. Duncan Miller intercepted by Duncan Miller. Duncan Miller, but it doesn't matter because Duncan Miller's got the puck again. Duncan Miller throws it on net. Oh, and he picks it up. Duncan Miller again. Oh, no. Couldn't make it go. Good save by Duncan Miller in net. Here comes Baby, Baby Miller. Baby Miller with the puck. Throws it. And it's in. Liam Gwynn. Baby, Baby Gwynn. Uh, yeah, he's he's a yellow eight. All these numbers will change next week, guarantee it. I put I would put it bet bets on condo bet. Uh, your your odds are one to one that they will change next week. I guarantee you, everyone's numbers will change, so you'll get an even return. Oh, the music's running. No music allowed. Fraser Stevens pops it up and it goes out of play. So we have to pick up a new puck. So that that will negate the offensive pressure there from the uh, from the Trouts. And the Deli Bellies. Frankie passes it up to Jorge, who passes it straight back to Frankie. Good little move. Get around the pressure. Frankie passes it back to Jorge, who chases it down. He gets it on his stick, looking for options. Throws it across to Gary. Now the captain bounced it. Off Cam Coots and over the top. I thought that might have bounced over the top of Horvat and in, but it didn't because physics said otherwise. Frankie passes it up ice to nobody in particular, and that's Dom Prendergast that has it. Passes it back to Frankie. Frankie and Dom playing tennis. 
Is that Jorge again? Yep, Jorge Irakura. Slaps it low. Oh, and Steve Horvath didn't see that. Just went wide. And here comes Tara Yates. She had it stolen by Gary Knapp, but Cam Coots gets it back and slaps it up the ice. Norman Yang cutting it off there. He's got a sweet little jersey. That looks like a Simpsons-inspired one. How many colours do you think Norman's wearing right now? Uh, I think he's wearing all of the colours of the rainbow, and that's just his socks. Oh, and Fraser Stevens, he's got it. Gets it around Frankie, throws it on net, but a good save there by Chris Hurley. And that's the end of the first period. Woo! At the end of the first period, it's Trout 6, Deli Belly's 4. That's exciting. No, oh, that's a one second. There, yeah, there we go. So we'll have a one minute break in between periods. We are brought. Duncan Miller is the winner. Thanks, Aaron Dolan. And Corey, hey! Corey Katina from Minnesota. Please tell me it's Minnesota and not Minneapolis. That will be so embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, it's fine. They're the same thing. As long as he's as long as he's in one place, like if he's in the state but he's not in the city, that'll be embarrassing. And he's liking the later start time. Well, you know what? It means I get home later. But if that's what it means, then you know what? What has to be done has to be done. Less time for you to eat McDonald's. Less less time for me to eat McDonald's. I can no longer do the Macca's runs with everyone afterwards. So um. Okay, you just have to eat real fast. <laughs> no, no, I just don't have time. I don't have time. Not even for drive through. <gasps> Sad. So at the end of the first period, we're coming into the second now. Liara's talking to us. She she she's she wants to give us a whistle. Yeah. She Is she giving it to us as a gift? She wants to work as a team. Oh, she she just wants everyone to know that we. She wants us to know that she's going to blow the whistle, so we don't get scared. Yeah, it's because the buzz. You can't hear the buzzer. Ah. Oh. You can hear that buzzer, but not this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the Trouts are, are showing a fantastic start to this season. They're up by two goals at the end of the first period. We are brought to you by Spark and Data and Electrical. That's S P A R K N dot com dot A U. If you don't know how to spell it. Look at the top left-hand corner of your screen and you can see it. In the top right-hand corner, we have a wonderful scoreboard that's created by Cameron Coots, who's the captain of the Trouts, who are winning. And the Deli Bellies have it early. But that went off Paige Cameron's leg and into the far corner for you people at home. For me, it's the near corner. But uh, I'll say it from your perspective because that's the kind of top, top kind of guy that I am. I try not to confuse our audience. And Paige Cameron didn't need a blue line to trip over then. Just her own feet. Worked As out Liam, well, Yeah, yeah. She's she's back in defense when there's nobody else there with her. So here comes uh, Dutz again. Oh, weaves around a couple of places. Throws at five hole. Is it in? No. Hurley just got the pads together just in time. And the Trouts have to clear it out again. Deli Bellies, not happy with the score at the end of the first period. They want it. They want it. They want in it. They want to be amongst it. They want their win from the season opener of season three. You like us so much, we're into our third season. Don't forget to hit the like button if you're liking what you're seeing. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. Oh, oh it was wide open and he oh, missed Oh, how do you miss that? That's disappointing. And infuriating if you're a deli belly. Oh, Jake White and Paige Cameron coming together hard in the slot. Norman Yan pushing it back against Josh Page. Oh. Vincent tried to sneak it from behind. And he picks up the puck. He's coming in. He gets around the defender. Page in the slot. Horvath negates it. Covers the puck with a defiant glove. Jake White. Oh, couldn't get it around Josh Page. Steals and passes it back to Vincent Lee. Vincent Lee gets it over the blue line. Josh Page got it. Norman Yan with a defensive masterclass. Well played, son. Oh. This Trout team is a force to behold. Yeah, I think they're going to be dangerous. They are going to be very dangerous. Fiona, who are you playing for this season? Pinheads. Pinheads. Always Pinheads. Now. Nice. Oh, Steve Horvat coming out to play the puck. 
aggressively and he managed to get it out of the zone. Josh Page just Remo hit himself with his stick and lost it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Great save by Chris Hurley against Sarah Sparrow. There is a lot of there's a bit of argy bargy out there today, a bit more pushing than we usually see, especially for a regular season game. I mean the trouts are new, they've got to prove themselves. And their parents aren't here. Oh yeah, yeah, true, true. Oh yeah. Nobody to keep us in line. I think Richard Armour's mum's here. Like legit. I think I think she actually is. Oh, Tommy Borden's here. Pirate Tommy. He'll be playing next. Huh? He'll be playing next. That's for sure. He, he's a uh, sharp mate. I don't know. He was. Uh, who knows? Who knows what team anybody's on? I don't even know what team two of the players that are out there today are on. Because I just call them both Duncan Miller. I mean, you do have a list in front of you. I do, but I'm, lo I'm looking out here at what's happening on the ice. Too much excitement. Too much excitement. Not enough. As Gary Nat chases the puck. But Paige Cameron picks it up. Gary Nat. His puck. Paige Cameron, she's looking to go coast to coast. She weaves around, duts two teammates up against each other in this comp. She's just carrying it all the way. She's going on a nice trip to Mordor. Just her and her puck. And she's gone to Mordor and back by now. And back. Didn't need no eagles. There she and just, back again. There and back again. Oh, Ricky Good throws it on, but deflects it up off the stick of Steve Horvat, who gloves it and then throws it back down to the ground. As Christine Dutton will take it out. Going coast to coast. These Melbourne Ice players, they don't mess around. They're like, why would I pass it when I can just take it all the way and try and score a goal myself? Or just skate around for five minutes in the offensive zone. Well, Phoebe Melvin, she there was a loose puck in the slot. It's still loose. Hurley covers it. Oh. It was Phoebe Melvin against three defenders. And she was coming up winning. As Liam Gwynn passes it up to Ricky Good. Ricky Good with the puck passes it back to Paige Cameron. Not a very good pass. She had a bit of pressure there from Richard Armour. Paige Cameron carrying it into the slot. She's looking for options or is she looking for the goal? I think she's looking for the goal. She had it taken off her by Duncan Miller. Correct. The Nailed actual it. Duncan Nailed Miller. Nailed it. Will Wait, the real du this? That one is Mark Walsley. Walsley. Uh, thank you. Thank you. People have compared me to the classic track from um, Santana featuring Robert Thomas on the odd occasion. Um, yep. Release. Uh, there's a, there is no difference. There is no difference. I am... The, I'm... I'm I'm as smooth as, as... I can't believe it's not butter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and here comes Norman Yan. Passes up to Richard Armour, but outside of his reach, length, the length of his stick, it was beyond him. Uh, not metaphorically, just literally. Oh, Steve Horvath! You don't want to be doing that too often. For those of you who aren't watching and are listening, he just... Oh, Norman Yan trips on the puck! And Ricky oh. Good's got it. Norman. He backhands it, but Horvath will cover it up and doesn't freeze it. What What are you doing, Steve? You need to smoke some weed or something because you need to chill out. You're being too haphazard with your with your playing. Jake White slaps it. It went off one of his own, one of the defending players, and then Chris Hurley. By the way, weed is not legal in Australia unless it's medicinal, so I'm not encouraging anything illegal. Uh, unless it's medicinal, in which case, I don't know his medical things. And he almost got a shot. Jake White did. He almost got a one-timer. Uh, I don't know anybody else's medical history, nor should I comment on it. So I'm not going to. Uh, don't do drugs, kids. Uh, Jake White barraging through, uh, Prendergast? Yates missed the backhand collection of the puck, so Cam Coots assists her. Throws it on net, but Christine Dutton defensively played it and made it a little bit easier for Steve Horvath, who decided to chill out that time. He was happy to cover it. He heard you. He heard me. I wonder if singing a lullaby. Oh, Tara Yates. She blocks that pass from Christine Dutton. She's still got it. Somebody's yelling, here, 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 here. But I think it was Fraser Stevens, and he had two deli bellies right beside him. So that's probably not going to be a good passing option. I don't know. I could be wrong. It is hockey after all. And here's Christine Dutton. Backhands it softly to Gary Knapp, but he couldn't hold it. 
He could not hold it. <laughs> Fraser Stevens, he's got the puck. He passes it back to Cam Coots. Couldn't hold it, but he throws it into the feet of Gary Nat. Dutton passes it over the sticks of everyone and down the far length of the ice. Paige Cameron in the defensive zone. Rims it around the boards. Up to Nick Luff in the Brandon Tanev jersey. Number 13. He's my favorite player too. He has the best facial expressions in uh, all of the press shots of the NHL. <laughs> and I have employed it for my own press shots here. And also the press shots that I did at the Global Series. As Richard Armour rips it. But it's a little bit wide. So Hurley didn't need to worry about that. As Paige Cameron gathers it up. We've only got 16 minutes 53. Only 16 minutes 53. It's barely any time left at all. I mean, it's a, it's all it's all perspective, isn't it? Like, if if you're talking about, you've got sixteen min only sixteen minutes thirty eight left in a hockey game where there's only two goals the difference. That could be thirty goals. That's a, that's a lot of time. If we're talking about the end of somebody's life, <laughs> and you say you've only got sixteen minutes twenty six left, it's I mean that's oh good save. I mean that's not a lot of time. It's not a lot of time. It's all about perspective, isn't it? I think for the players out there right now, 16 minutes is probably a long time. I mean, yeah. Well, well, if you're on the if you're on the trouts, if you're on the trouts, it's a long time. If if, if you're Chris Condos, it's about two shifts. Um, two, two, two. No, nah, no, nah, we did the maths on it. It's two shifts. Um, we got we got the best we got the best people on the job. Um, scientific minds. Do a uh, year-long study. Um, he just has also brought the pink socks. Oh, I love it! I love it. Oh, Sarah Sparrow throws it. It's in. Sarah Sparrow scores. Is she going to get an assist from somebody? Who's thirty-one? Jake White. Now, Jakey. That's his third point of the evening. He's been trying so hard to get a goal. I feel like he needs to get a goal. He should get a goal. There's still a goal behind. So if he gets a goal, that means mathematically that they'll be tied. He could even get three goals. He could. No, he's already scored one. Oh, he has scored one. Yeah, he scored one. Okay. Here comes Sarah Sparrow. She throws another one, goals. but it's wide. Duncan Miller. The real Duncan Miller. Please stand up. Jake White throws it on. He hurt us. Oh. Sarah Sparrow gets stonewalled. By the goaltender Chris Hurley, that was that was just such a good opportunity for both Jake White and Sarah Sparrow. Chris Hurley coming up strong, and as they come up the ice, none of the Trouts wanted the puck except for Tara Yates. Uh, two or three of them just let it go, like Elsa from Frozen. Oh, and a shot from the point from Paige Cameron. Did she actually let it go, or was she saying I should let it go and I don't? Oh, Vincent chucks it back. Elsa. In. Yeah, did she did she let it go in the end? I, I well, don't know. What's the what's the <laughs> what, what was I've the only seen Frozen once? What was the end? What was the end result of that? I just remember the snowman melting. Wow. He loves summer. He's <laughs> yeah. That's Here all comes I Josh remember. Page. Speaking of a little guy that loves summer, Josh Page. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, I don't know if that's true. He may not oh, like summer. Love. That was a really good save. Do ice hockey players like summer? Well, he had a good summer season. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't melt under the pressure. <laughs> I melted. You did? Every time I played hockey and it here and it was 30 degrees plus, I, I mean, melted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and a shot from Gary Nat that bounces off a couple of bodies. Dutton's passing it to the slot but couldn't make the stick of Jorge. That was a great run from Liara. Did she run? <laughs> Puck is here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's KSL. At least she's skating. Our usual re head referee just like stands there and leans against the boards and then occasionally blows his whistle. Sending text on his phone. Oh, Josh Page! Oh, an even better save by Stephen Horvath! You beauty! Oh, wow, we! As Frankie takes it out for the Deli Bell, he's passing it up to Melvin. But Josh Page pooped that party. 
and carries the puck, and then he gets his stick up into the hands of Norman Yan. Liara Green says, play on, gents. And Josh Page took himself out on the net, and then took Norman Yan out. And passes it into the slot. Ricky Good score! Uh, did he, did he, did he not? Did he not score? I don't think he scored. He tried real hard to score. He tried really hard to score. And I think he got pretty close. Jake White from Richard Armour. Jake White gets his body in between Cam Coots and the puck. Oh, and he's still got it in. Great play there. That's one of those gritty plays. Oh, and Phoebe Melvin just colliding with Cam Coots. Didn't even try to stop. Like there's a bit of an offside going That's on there. That's super offside. Liara was still like... Offside. Liara was, I don't know whether she saw it and she let, she let it go or whether she just didn't see how deep Phoebe Melvin was in the zone. Sometimes you're so far zone. down, no one can see Nobody you. can see you. Oh, Cam Coots tried to keep it in the blue line, but he didn't. And it doesn't matter because they were out of the zone anyway. And here comes not Duncan Miller. That's Mark Wolseley. Got it right that time. Hey, you hey, did. hey. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm it's earning my keep. Uh, one and a half periods. Uh, yeah, yeah, more, more. More than a one and a half, but that's all right. I was being nice. It's better. It's better than last season. I'll tell you that much for free. Richard Armour carrying it into the zone, throws it to Jake White, but the pressure there from the Trouts was too much. They swimming upstream as they carry it into the offensive zone. Ricky Good, he's got pressure there from Duncan Miller. Duncan Miller's trying to get it back off Ricky Good. He's hacking and slashing. Ricky Good's digging away like he's a miner in a coal mine. But Norman Yan is the canary that's screaming at him. <laughs> saying, you can't have this puck, mate. This is mine. But, oh! Here comes Mark Wolseley. Sarah Sparrow tried to get it off him. Speaking of birds. <laughs> because I mentioned a canary and she's a sparrow. At least in surname. Thanks. Thanks, Amy. It is Amy, yeah? Annie. Annie, That's shit. Oh, like... <laughs> don't get me started. <laughs> You've just given him a nickname. You know. Oh, mate. You have a nickname and a half. She's not playing till next week, but then you can pick one. That's fine. I've, I'm saving that one for next week, Annie. <laughs> oh, you can fetch your bottom dollar, I will. Nice one, Tristan. Oh, Tristan Clements. He doesn't have a microphone, but he's pulling out gold. Just like Daddy Warbucks. Because he's rich. And he probably has gold bullion. <laughs> what? What'd you say? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Oh, Nick Luff putting in an effort at the boards for the Trouts. And here comes Gary Nat. He overskates the puck. And Liam Gwynn was happy to just let that go. And here comes... That's not Prendergast. That is Prendergast. That is Prendergast. Dominic Prendergast throws it up. Not like a vomit, but throws it up ice to Fraser Stevens, who couldn't quite wrangle it. Nick Luff tried to catch it, but he couldn't. Fraser Stevens has it again. Almost got tripped by the real Duncan Miller. Here comes Christine Dutton. Dutts lobs it up with a nice saucer, but it hit Tara Yates and Paige Cameron, who are both playing for the other team. Paige Cameron carrying it up ice. She's got pressure from Jorge. I don't, I can't even tell you what that was. It was a hold. It was a hook. It was a slash. It was, it was like a combo, like, like a, like a big whopper combo meal where you get everything all in one, one, one tasty package. Did I just call Jorge a tasty package? You did. I yeah. think I did. <laughs> I'm sure he'll appreciate What's it. my subconscious saying right now? That you're hungry. Yeah. Jorge. <laughs> Correct. <I'm> <laughs> 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 I got a hunger. <laughs> And the only snack that I want is Jorge Irakura. Oh, Vincent Lee! Oh, my oh. God! Oh, oh Beth! It didn't go in. Is it in? Is it in? No. Oh, no, it is in. It's in. We'll see. Here, we'll watch the replay. Oh, oh, it's still... Oh, no. Yeah, give it to Vincent. That's his second. He's got three points now. That's rough. What? What'd you? Said it's a hard knock life. 
<laughs> she's just leaning into this. <laughs> she's she's embracing it. I'm used to it. So, some would say that she set it all up. I thought he smooched her Oh, couldn't finish it. And he looks skyward. I saw Wicked last week. It was pretty excellent. You thought I was going to say Wicked, didn't you? You thought I was going to say it was pretty Wicked? I didn't do that. Subvert expectations. It's comedy. It's, that's how you make comedy. Yeah, throw people off the scent. Yeah. All of that. can't be predictable because he doesn't know what's Oh, Vincent! Vincent! Oh, stick! Poke check by the Horvath himself! Oh, even Norman was agreeing with Vincent then. <laughs> what? Why, why was he agreeing with Vincent? Yeah. Oh. Come Sarah Sparrow. She's barreling up the ice. Oh, throws it on net, but the stick of Chris Hurley deflects it into the corner. Delhi still have it. It's in the slot. Sarah Sparrow. Oh, tried to get it through the legs of Tara Yates. Armour throws it on net. Norman couldn't quite get it. It wasn't where his stick was. Phoebe Melvin, pressure from Tari Yates, and the Trouts are coming away with it. Paige Cameron lobs it up ice to Vincent. Vincent, he gets it around the defender. Defender goes A over T, and Vincent Lee backhands it in. That's his third. That's his third. No more, no more goals for you. That's his third. Tell him to stop complaining and play the game. Costa wouldn't have called it. <laughs> She's like, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Seriously, he scored a goal and he's complaining? Who is this guy? He Give him a suspension. Give him a short left-handed stick next week. He's used to real hockey. Oh, oh, boo-hoo. I scored a goal and the referee missed a call so I don't get a penalty shot. Have a sook! You can't score anymore anyway! Leave our referees alone! Sorry, everyone. It's getting very aggressive in here, Fig. Yeah, well, it, it gets a B in my bonnet, Fiona. Very passionate. I'm very passionate. I'm very passionate. I'm a passionate guy, and I'm passionate about this particular topic. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Josh Page just got absolutely leveled by Jorge. <laughs> now we're Watch it. Watch it. Here it is. He comes around. Jorge. Boom. Just skate to skate. He was like, oh, yeah, I, re I reckon I can take him. <laughs> what a jerk. He punted him. He punted Josh Page. And, and, yeah, Liara, yeah, there we go, there we go. We're ready, we're ready. Here we go, Josh Page. Sorry? He's coming in with the uh, Kuznetsov, the snooze net. He stopped! He stopped! Can you stop? I can't hear you. He stopped. No, that's, that's, it's nine now, isn't it? Yeah. Tell Cam to, to shove his counting in his sack. Does Cam really want us to give him less goals? Yeah, you. You're not saying anything. You gotta press the button. There you go. There you go. You press the button and then you talk. What are you doing? It's a walkie-talkie. It's a very simple concept, Jojo. You push the button and you talk. 
George Espinosi apparently never had a childhood with walkie-talkies because he doesn't know how to operate one. I mean, the name itself indicates that it's a children's toy. There's definitely been eight goals for the record. Yeah. I wish, I wish everyone would, would just, like, you know, do their own job uh, tonight. Cam's you know? trying to take a goal off his team. Um, we have them all written down with who scored them, so... Oh, I've got eight. You've got eight. You've got eight. There's Cam's saying us. seven. I wonder who's wrong. Now it's nine. That's Liam Gwynn. He just scored a goal. That was really good. <laughs> 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 it Cam was re- us to remove this one too. It was really good. Unassisted. Can you take Cam Gwyn? Cam Gwyn. <laughs> yeah, Cam. <laughs> another two minutes. Oh, so we've got an additional two minutes of injury time. I have added two minutes. As Tristan Clements leaves the booth. Thank you, Tristan, for all of your wisdom and skills. We love you. Don't forget, if you're after some broadcasting expertise, hit up OSM Live. I don't know what their website is. I hope it's osmlive.com.au. If not, just type in OSM Live in Google. I'm sure it'll come up. That's exactly com- what people do. Here comes Norman Yan. He brings it in for the Deli Bellies. But the Trouts get it out. And, oh, a collision there between Nick Luff and the real Duncan Miller, who is standing up. And here comes Sarah Sparrow. She gets it around Cam Coots, the head trout. Oh, and she throws it in the glove of Chris Hurley. Manages to deflect it away. And the uh, trouts are happy to just throw it upstream and slowly chase it down as Steve Horvath comes out of his goal once again to play it to his defender, Norman Yan. Norman Yan's got a leading white. White, passing, gets it, throws it on net, but <laughs> a casual glove once again of, of Chris Hurley is enough. Phoebe Melvin's just having a chat in the corner. Why not? <laughs> you're offside, mate. You can't score if you're offside. Oh, Hobart's oh, out, out of these gl- Oh, jeez. He's playing with fire. And apparently, sometimes if you play with fire, you can get burnt. So I've heard. Life lessons. Oh, here comes Jake White. Turns it over. Throws it on net, but off the blocker of Chris Hurley. That's a goal. Was it? Who was it? Oh, yep. Liara will tell us. <laughs> Liara will tell us. Delis. Jorge. <laughs> Who was the assist from? Jake White. Oh, Jake White. What a good player. And a good bloke. That's his third assist. We want to add five more minutes? Okay. Are we adding five minutes? I already, five minutes of stoppage time. I already added two minutes, so I can add one. That's a lot of stoppage time. Oh, and it's oh, loose in the slot. Okay. Jess Meg's almost got it. Oh, and here comes Richard Armour. Richard Armour carrying it up ice. Gets it around Tara Yates. A nice move. Passes it across to the captain, Gary Nat. He gets smothered by Ru- Fraser Stevens, but Gary Nat still got it. It's loose. It's loose. He throws it into the slot for Richard Armour. But he couldn't get it on net, and it trickles out wide, where Dutch will collect it. Carries it around her teammate, Phoebe Melvin. Throws it into the slot for Gary Nat again, but Paige Cameron blocks it. And Tara Yates will bring it out. Frankie backhanding it. Went past both of the Trouts that tried to get it. Gary Nat tried to pass it to Phoebe Melvin, but she didn't see it coming. Didn't even get past her skate, so she's unlikely to see it. Dutton. Hits it off the stick of Ricky Good. He chases it into the corner. Gets ready to pass it to Jess, but she oh, blocked by Dutz. What a great defensive play. Frankie demolishes Jess in the slot. No puck anywhere to be found. And Jess got taken out of the play. Paige Cameron weaving around Sarah Sparrow and Christine Dutton. Christine Dutton reaching around her with her stick. Some people call it a hook. Some people call it a hold. Liara says it's fine. Paige Cameron throws it. Oh, hits Frankie right in the stomach. Paige Cameron tries to get it around Sarah Sparrow. She does for a second, but oh, Sarah Sparrow read that perfectly. Tried to get it up and out, but uh, it went no further than Jess. 
Jess and Ricky. Ricky's got it. Can he get it into the slot? No, he tries to shoot himself. No, he didn't try to shoot himself. He tried to he tried to shoot the puck himself into the goals. Oh, oh. Jake White, good move around Paige Cameron. He could have held on to it. He, oh my god. How he did didn't need stop? to shoot that. He could have stopped and ducked around. Oh, Jake. He's like stuck between his pads. Tara Yates for the trouts back the other way. Norman Yang, good defensive stick. Throws it up to Jake White. Can he do it again? He's up against Vincent. He slaps it softly. It's oh. in! It's in off Vincent Lee! Vincent Lee scores, but for the wrong team! Jake White will get his second goal of the evening. Five points. Man, Delis, they're clawing back. They're within two goals. We're 9-7, we're yeah? 9-7? Yeah, we good. are nine seven, yep. and we added a bunch of time, so now we've got more time for the the trout to be stressed about them catching up. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent will be unhappy with that as he collects the puck in the defensive zone. He can't score any more this evening, I don't think. Am I correct he in that? Cannot. Cannot score any more. Unless it's for the opposition, <laughs> which he can <laughs> score all he likes. <laughs> He's technically scored four goals. Jake White tried to backhand it to a uh, Jorge. Vincent Lee passing it up to Tara Yates. Tara Yates tries to get around Jorge. She did. Ricky Good put it on net, but uh, goes off into the corner. Norman Yan gets it around Ricky Good. He's taking it all the way, coast to coast. He's got t pressure from Tara Yates. Backhands it into the slot where there's Jorge, but he couldn't get it off Vincent Lee. Lee passes it up to, to Page. Page. Josh Page, that is. Throws it straight into the real Duncan Miller. Page gets it back, passes it back to Lee. Lee can't sh get a goal, so he has to throw it on net. Josh Page is there, throws it backhanded into the side of the cage. Throws it back on Steve Horvath, who covers it up. And he's not happy about that as he swats Josh Page. Josh Page is cross-checking him, but it has slim to no effect. What are you laughing at? You. Oh, cool. <laughs> Such a funny guy. Oh, thanks. Shucks. Here comes uh, the captain, Gary Natt. But Vincent Lee takes it off him easily. Passes it up to Mark. Mark Walsley. Passes it across to Paige. Paige couldn't get it in. Nice stick poke check from Steve Horvath. As Duncan Miller takes a tumble, he stops standing up and starts kneeling down, but then starts standing up. Please stand up. That's how you play hockey. Duncan Miller. Norman Yan carrying the puck up the boards. Gets around uh, Mark Walsley. Cuts into the center, throws it on net, misses. He puts pressure on Vincent Lee, who has been putting in a great effort in defense. But Gary Natt and Dominic Prendergast are in the slot. But Vincent Lee comes back and gets it. Frankie tried to get it with her stick, but it was outside of her grasp. Or the grasp of her stick. Josh Page, he's looking for an option. Throws it, and it goes off the stick of Horvath and high and long. Oh, good pass. Up ice. That was a shot on goal, actually. That was a shot on goal. From Jake White. It was intended as a pass to Sarah Sparrow. Oh, she throws it into the slot for Dutz, but it was... Oh, Liam goes oh, down. Oh, Liam goes down, and Jake White threw it into the slot, but it was picked off by Vincent Lee. Oh, it's a long pass. Oh, good defense by a back-checking Christine Dutton. Liam Gwynn. Oh, good block from Armour. He's providing some armor for the Deli Bellies. And here he comes. Offensive armor as well. It's a goal! Put oh. that one on the scoreboard, you jerks! Okay. Whoa. I put it on the scoreboard. Not you. I was, I was talking. <laughs> uh, I don't think it was an assist. It was. Just unassisted. Unassisted. And boy, do we have a game. It's 8-9. Trout still winning by one. We've only got 26 seconds. Delis need to pull the goaltender if they've got a shot at this, I think. Maybe not. Sarah Sparrow. Oh, turns it over to Cam Coots. Cam Coots with pressure from Norman Yan. He's holding on to his pants. He's trying to take his pants off. It's like the uh, Little John song, but instead of shirt, it's these pants. Take your pants off. Um, <laughs> Jake White, he's got one second. Slaps it. Way off. And that will do it. The no goal. No goal. 
That was after the buzzer. No goal. No goal. So um, that will do it. I bet Cam's super glad that we didn't take that goal off. He was convinced it didn't exist. It was not a goal because the siren is on. No goal. So that is the end of the game. Unless Cam Coots wants us to take that extra goal that they scored off the scoreboard, which would mean it's a tie, which means we go to a shootout. But we're not going to do that because the tally is 9-8. Nine, nine, That's it. So that'll do it for the first game of the season opener. We do have a second game coming up. Yeah, play some music. Yeah, play some music, Annie. Some, what, is what do you got? What what musicals have you got? Why? What musicals have you got? None on here. Right? None on there. Define gravity. Desposito. No. Desposito. <gasps> there we go. So, uh, great game from the Trouts who have shown up this season. Very exciting. Good first game. Good first game. That was a solid effort. It was a very good effort. Um, especially very good the first five minutes of that game was. Mm. Got to start with Scary. The it yeah. was. I was scared. I was trembling in my boots. A little bit of wee came out. Um, we can tell. Yeah. Yeah. That's the that's what the smell. Great since then. Yeah. That's what the smell's all about. Yeah. We are brought to you by Spark and Data and Electrical. That's S P A R K N dot com dot A U. Also assisted by O S M Live. So Spark in with an N and O S M with an M for Mary. Uh, o S M Live. I like that Aaron has joined in with the... Uh, Will the real D Dunga Miller wife. please stand up? Oh, is it his wife? Yep. So Thanks, Aaron. at home too. Yeah, I think we found his new um, theme song. Um, you should play it for him when he gets home, Aaron. Yeah, yeah. Have it on the on, on the uh, UE Boom or uh, other, other system that you have. Uh, or even on your Walkman. Just pump it out of your Walkman with your tape player. We are coming to you from the Olympic Ice Skating Centre in Oakley, Melbourne, Victoria. Uh... We'll be back in about uh, 20 minutes with the next game. We'll get a fresh sheet of ice for you. Well, not a fresh sheet. We'll just put a nice veneer on this one. I mean, it's pretty cold, so it'll be nice. It's pretty cold. It is very cold today. Thank goodness. I've been Figures. This has been Fiona Buell beside me. Are you off to go get kitted up? No, I'm staying. You're, you're back. You're stuck with us for the you, entire you're night. Is everyone back? Everyone's, Everyone's back. Here for the whole <laughs> <night>. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to have some sugar. Eat some muffins and some party mix. Yes. And we'll be back with the second game, which is going to be the Shut Up Maitlands versus the Athenas. We'll see you in about 17 minutes. There you go. Round five. Came my oh, what are you doing, Josh? Nothing. Hello, hello, hello. And welcome back to the season opener of season three. It's KSL, Condor Social League. You're here with me, Figures. And yes, from my chastising, you heard that we are here with Josh Page, the uh, the gun of a player who just got two goals in his last game. Josh, how are you, mate? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, it's it's still oh. Is it? No, that's not the problem. Mm, something's wrong. 